I don't want to use your default prefix, I want to use my own prefix. This video is proudly sponsored by Oxide Hosting. With this hosting company you can never go wrong. They provide outstanding customer support and all for a low price. Their services range from website hosting to Minecraft server hosting. If you are interested in them, be sure to check out the link in the description below. Hey it's me, Dunzel the Tree, and welcome back to another ManuDocs tutorial. Today we are going over custom prefixes in the bot. So let's get started. Uh, first of all we're gonna create a class that stores the prefixes. And then we're gonna implement it everywhere. So let's get started. I just want to create a new Java class and I'm and I'm gonna call this very I can't type as usual bad design because this is what because that's what it is. What we're doing is a very bad design. So we're gonna say public static final map. Oh uh, this map contains a long long and a string. The long is for the guild ID and the uh, and the string I'm not allowed to import it. Hello? There we go. The long is for the guild ID and the string is for the prefix itself. I'm going to call this prefixes and this is equal to a new hash map. Let's import that as well. Now that that is done, we're going to come over to our listener and over here we get the prefix. Uh, we, we gonna, we're going to change those two lines. And this change is very simple. We're just going to paste this in here. There you go. So what does this code that I pasted in do? Well, first of all, it stores the guild ID in a long variable. Uh, and after that, it's going to get the prefixes field from the very bad design. And after that, we're going to obtain the prefixes map from the very bad design class. And we're going to use the compute if absent f uh, method to set the prefix in the map if it's not there yet. Our key is the guild ID and this is a lambda function which for now returns a default prefix. But what you essentially want to do is get your prefix from the database if it's not in the map yet. In two weeks you will see how we will hook this up to a database. So that is why you will see in two weeks how to hook this up to a database. Let's continue because uh, we want to pass along the prefix to our handle method. Because as you see this just uh, pattern quotes the prefix. So what we should do is we should say string prefix over here. And we can say prefix. So now we can also pass along the prefix over here. So now to set the prefix we will actually need a set prefix command. And in our commands package, I'm going to create a new package called admin because this is an administrator command. A new Java class set prefix command. This of course implements i command. And we're just going to import all these methods. The name is going to be set prefix and the help is going to be set the prefix for the server. Usage set prefix and the prefix. So first of all, we're going to create a few variables. The first variable being the channel that the message was sent in as, as usual. Next up, we will also need the arguments for the prefix. And last but not least, we will get the member that executed the command. So first of all, we need to check if the user is allowed to change the prefix. So let's write the basic code, right? So if not member dot has permission. Uh, I'm gonna leave it empty for now. We're gonna return and we're gonna say channel dot send message. Y oh, Q autocomplete doesn't help today. You must ha have the permission to use this command. Now, what permission would make sense in this scenario? Administrator makes sense because you're an admin, but some servers don't want to give their admins admin permissions, they give them manage server permission. And that's what also makes sense to me. You are changing a setting, so you must have the manage server permission. So permission dot uh, import this from net.deviation.jd.api and this is manage server. 
Now we can also say manage server. Next up, missing arcs check as usual. And then we're gonna say uh, string dot join. Oh, string dot join. I am very on point with my coding today. Uh, arcs. We're gonna join it on nothing. Uh, a new prefix. There we go. And then we're gonna set the prefix in the map. So very bad design dot prefixes dot put. Uh, get the ID from the guild and set the new prefix. Last but not least, we're gonna send a message, register the command, and then check it out on Discord. So let's say add command new set prefix command and let's run the bot so right now that the bot is set up we're gonna say exclamation exclamation mark set prefix and because i have to manage server permission it's gonna say missing arguments but if we were to use an account but if you were to use an account that does not have managed server permissions the bot is gonna say you must have managed server to use this command so that's pretty good so now we just say exclamation mark, exclamation mark, set prefix. Uh, what prefix isn't used in this server? I think it's the question mark, right? And as you can see, it just works. So now if you check out the uh, one question mark, the help command. Yeah, you can see that it still uses the default prefix. That's not what we want, that is it. So that so let's fix that. Let's go over to our help command and see how we can fix this. So right here, I'm gonna change this to a few new lines, make it easier to read. You can see we can we're doing config.get prefix. Now what you just could do is just uh, paste in this line of code here and you're all set. But you should not do this at all. Uh, this means that for every command, and if you have a lot of commands, it's going to be really slow. It's going to look up the map, get the gold from it, and then the prefix, which can be really slow. So what you want to do instead is say string prefix and just store it in a variable. That way, it's all it's it's stored in a variable, and Java will just go over to the prefix variable and just grab that value instead of looking it up in the map every time. So now we can reload the bot and say question mark help and you see that nothing happens. This is because the this is because the settings are not persistent. And like I said before, we're going to do that in the next tutorial. And like I said, we're going to do that with a database in the next tutorial. So now we can say set Prefix question mark question mark help question mark help without the backslash and you can see it now has the the question mark over there and it may be even faster because we don't have to grab the prefix from our config every time. So that's how to really easily add a set prefix command in your bot. Like I've said two times already in this like I've said two times already in this tutorial. Next time there will be a database added to this so you can persist the settings. But for now, thank you for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you next time with another tutorial. Bye!